Hi everyone, uh, we're back with another window chat with Robin. Uh, oh, over enthusiastic? I think so, but I'm so excited. I'm inviting Alexandra. Successfully sent. Da, da, da. Happy Friday, everyone. And she joined and, oh, is it working? This is like my favorite part, every time. Oh, hey Jen. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know, maybe I didn't send it. Maybe I just talked to myself. That would be unfair to everyone. Let's try again. Da, da. Oh, maybe I just met, oh, oh, view request. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we're waiting, we're waiting. Ah! How are you? I'm good. I will never get better at this, apparently. But thanks for joining me. I, yeah, no, thanks for having me. I, to be honest, was like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm like, <laughs> so you are not alone. <laughs> yeah, I requested too. I didn't see a request. I was confused. Anyways, we're here now, so it's all good. <laughs> this is great. It's like I haven't spoken to you in a while, so we're just going to talk. And if people want to watch, cool. Uh. Yeah, I'm down. I actually, have, I don't think I've done one of these since the beginning of the pandemic. So it's really nice to oh. just chat. Yeah. I have my I have my morning tea here with me. It's gonna be really good. That's okay. I have uh, water. So nice. And nice. I also have water in the corner there. But anyway, I'm, I'm keeping hydrated. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. No, I feel like I should have gone with a fancy coffee. But I'm like, nah, water. I don't need the caffeine. No oh, fair. That's Get that. Just like too much energy. Like, ugh. Exactly. You're jittery the rest of the day. No, I totally understand. I, I was nervous because they're testing the fire alarms. So they finished it right before this. And then the garbage. And I'm like, oh, God, downtown living. Uh. No worries. I've, I'm sure there's been a, a few technical issues during chats, during auditions, during everything, during this whole thing. So no judgment on my end. I'm like, so your, the top of your head is cut off. You have like that. Yeah, should I, should I back up? I feel like as an actor, I want you to get the best angle. Let's like, there we go. Oh, I love your wall, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually in a back alley. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually couldn't do this in my house. So I'm in the back alley uh, with the hoodlums. Uh, no, thank I you. You're serious. I believe everything you say. It's a problem. <laughs> Sorry. I should... I'm joking. Um, okay. I bought this as like a whim buy. Um, like I, I bought it on a whim. Uh, and I just wanted to try it out for this. I figure we'll see what it looks like. Is it too busy? I'm wearing black, so I feel like it's okay. I don't know. No, I think it's so fun. But I feel like. Thank I, you. I mean, yeah. I could, maybe if I tilt my camera, we could get like someone doing something cool back there, like across, but I don't. <laughs> You know, look out I'm actually, eyes. I'm actually just below your building in the back alley. That's, uh, if you look far enough, I'm actually down there. I don't doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I am loving watching your stuff right now. And it's so funny because I follow you on YouTube, Alexandra, <laughs> shameless plug. Yeah. But I'm only getting, I'm new to like following people and subscribing to their channels. So I'm getting your stuff from like a year ago, two years ago. And that's why yeah. I, I watched your product review and I thought the products were real. And so I'm like, <laughs> I was, uh, I didn't mean to give it away for other people, but uh, you're very that, yeah, convincing. <laughs> thank you. Uh, that, yeah, I don't know why that video went viral like viral, like minimally viral. I think what happened is a after I made it, because I had heard about the the, the main product the that product. I advertised. We, we're going to keep it PG for the, yeah. Yeah. Um, I had heard about it like just after it came out. So I made a video, obviously a parody video, making fun of it. And I think what happened is it it's like the second thing on Google about it. Like it, just analytically, it worked out that not many people were talking about this right. product, which I mean, with good reason. Um, and so that's why, because I saw your comment and I thought that's so weird. Like she must have clicked through so many videos. I know, but... I'm like, I don't want her to think I'm creepy. I am creepy. I'm not in that <laughs> 
Honestly, Robin, you could creep me to like the utmost that you could possibly creep me, and I've been creeped worse. So there's no judgment again on my end. Like the amount of creepiness that I have experienced since entering the YouTube realm is is phenomenal. And I'm not even like I'm not even anyone. You know, that's you have a hello from Turkey, so you are someone. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Hello. <laughs> so, whoa, look at this following. Um, yeah, you know what? Like, I, I will say the following that I do have, they're so loyal and I love them so much. They're so sweet. I've, I've really got lucky in that a lot of my followers are positive, inspiring, good people. Um, I want to believe that has something to do with what I put out there in the world, but I think it's just luck, honestly. And just, they're so, they're so nice. Like I, I'm, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. Like you put out such honest content though. Like that's the thing when I, when I, cause I know we did like the acting classes together and I get a sense of everyone, but then I start watching mm -hmm. stuff and you're just you and you're just being <laughs> hard. And I'm like, first off, I love your humor because I thought I was Thank dating you. out there and you're just like wearing, you have a wig collection, which I highly respect. If I had space in my Thank closet, you. I would get one. But you're just like- Dude, I have made space. I love it. I love <laughs> the characters. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I was like, I appreciate you saying that you like my humor because I do think that it's very uh, out there. I don't, I don't think it's, everybody's humor i think people I watch it and they're like what <laughs> i've gotten those reactions so i understand <laughs> yeah um and as for my wig collection we can blame my mother for that i started very young collecting wigs um or stealing my mom's wigs uh so that's just i have made space in my closet like we built the there's a closet behind this and we my my partner built it specifically because there was just so many costumes and so much wigs and stuff like as I'm talking to you, you can't see it but I have my keyboard over here and there is three fake hair products right there so yeah no it is a I'm gonna say close to an addiction uh I just love I love becoming other people. Yeah. So it's so funny to me that you say that I, you're just you. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. Like I, <laughs> I'm but yeah. you're, 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 that's why I say you're fearless. Like you're not afraid to put stuff out there. Like oh, thank it's you. just, yeah. it's, you're just doing like, let's see, not even what works. Like this is funny to me. Maybe someone else will find it funny. And I do that. But then I like crawl in a corner. Like, I don't want to know the comments go away. I, I shared it and I'm like, it's this weird sensation. <laughs> no, but you know what? I, I admire that about you too. Like you just put out content. I think that's really what it comes down to is not caring what people think. And um, I, okay. You say I'm fearless, but let me just say that that happened by accident. I think um, I had so much hate on YouTube like the first time I really went on YouTube because I was brought on by Dating Beyond Borders originally. Right, okay. And I spoke French online and I am from Ottawa. So like it's Canadian, very dumbed down Ontarien French and it was bad to the French people and like not to say anything bad about French people, but they're pretty particular about their language, like which they should be. And uh, I butchered it and I got so much hate we're talking like like thousands upon thousands of comments if you go to this one specific dating beyond borders video it's all about how annoying and bad i am well, I and okay but <laughs> it's I kind, kind of want to watch that and i hate that like how bad you should watch it okay no no no. you should watch it it's like it's it's bad um but i had to really be like oh oh like people aren't gonna love me I'm not, I'm not 100 percent lovable and so yeah I had to adjust which is kind of why now I'm like I don't care you know you're getting a lot of love though some you're a lot of there was a shout out for you being a great comment <laughs> someone missed the comments videos what is a comment video um it's when I make fun of people's mean comments about me uh, which, which I have to, like, every couple months I can go back to those videos, like, the same videos that I got hate on, and there are more, 
And so there's like a never ending stream of video of comments that I can make videos on. So yeah, there are definitely more coming, like, especially the more I'm on YouTube. But do the people make the comments so you'll make the videos? Like, I'm trying to understand all this hate. Then I'm like, okay. They don't, Ooh. they don't know that I'm reading them. It's fascinating because they'll be like, oh, she, like, for the French one, I understand. But for Greek, for yeah. Greek, like, because I speak Greek fluently. Right. And there's, like, this twinge of an accent that I have because, like, I live in Canada. Um, and they're like, oh, yeah, like, she doesn't actually have a Greek accent. Like, she did it poorly. And... In my mind, I'm like, okay, sure, that's your opinion. But do you know I'm reading these comments? Like, would you actually say this if you knew I was reading them? Would you say it to your face? Like, if you would say the comment no. to the person's face, which I don't think a lot of people would, I'm like, oh, I don't understand this writing. Like, I, when I get, but now I told my husband, I'm like, when I get a bad comment, I'm like, oh, I feel like I made it. Because these people care about yes. like, mean comments. And I'm like, okay. 100%. Yeah, like there, like I always joke, there are two things that say that you've made it. You've got, you get hate, and you have a wiki feed online. Do you have one? I do. <laughs> I have so much research to do after this, and I really thought I researched you, and this is amazing. Oh my god! I okay. do, and I was, I was, um, I was notified. Like I got a notification on my Google because you can like put, you can put like searches oh, right. on when your name pops up right yeah and it was like you have a wiki feed no, no. <laughs> my feet are disgusting but okay apparently sure. you are a greek goddess i love you have so much love coming in i love oh that's I from nima i freaking love nima do you know nima naz you're like okay. shameless plug for nima naz right now i fucking love that guy i was i don't know if i'm allowed to swear sorry um i love him he's so yeah, funny he's such a great just happened. Is... I have to do a content warning now. It's a whole thing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I uh, know because I know you had a kid on earlier. I'm so sorry if she's watching. Uh, plug your... uh, okay. I love her. But, like, um, it was a test of the system. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. Nima, he's just, he's a, he's a comedian in Toronto. He does like Persian, um, he, he does like his Persian accent dude and he's got all these crazy characters too and uh, he's he's wonderful. So. But anyone who isn't following Nima should go follow Nima. That's my my plug this for you. This is great, Nima Nev. Okay, cool. If they watch, yeah, them. yeah. Oh, and he's got sending the hearts, purple, nice yeah. color. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm like trying to. I'm still getting used to reading all the comments that everyone's writing. Like I don't want to feel anyone to feel like I'm missing them. But sometimes it just says they join. Like, do I say hi to everyone? That's a lot of work. So I'm just yeah. I know, and they like scroll late. I think like I think, I think the way the you list. see them. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a bit delayed. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Thank you all for watching. We've read your comments. They are lovely. There's no. I'm probably gonna go back. I'm probably gonna go back and read through after. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Because <laughs> I'm too far away. I can't even read. Like, I because I push back. I can't read it. Like my oh. my eyes aren't good enough. Oh, that's fair. I like to like lean in and then. <laughs> <laughs> I love you back. I put, I put on uh, extra strong contacts. Oh, your hair is on point. Look at this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, any reason during this pandemic to do my hair? Because usually I put it up in a bun and I'm like, screw it. Um, and then, or I'm doing it for auditions, which is not the way I want to do it. Like, this is the way I want my hair, or I'm wearing a wig. I like, let's thinking, see. I've well. never seen your hair like that. And that's, yeah, yeah that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to hear how you've been doing. Like, I haven't really, really talked to you oh, for like no, a year. I'm not used to, like when people ask me things, I'm like, oh, I guess I have to participate. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, I guess. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm okay. I just started this thing to like catch up with people. And I love, I love it. Oh, my, Esther wants to see a wig. That's very funny. Um, oh, can you whip they're up? all back there. Look at me. I have... and not wanting to talk about myself. This is great. Uh, um, okay. Well, here's like, this this isn't a wig. This is a hair attachment. Oh. Um, all my wigs are. I should have. I, you know what? I should have known that we would have talked about this. Um, <laughs> I I should have brought my boxes out and shown you all of them. Um, but my YouTube channel makes it pretty clear how many I have. This is a wig attachment. So you like or like a, ha a hair attachment. You make buns on your hair, like two buns, you have and then you, and then you make your bun look fuller because let's be real no bun looks like anime buns like there's no way your hair is actually going to do that so you make them look like that I, so this is one of them i never knew this was a thing and for the longest time i'm like what's wrong with my hair 
I don't, <laughs> like, why can't it look like everyone else's? And then, like, people leave auditions. They're taking their hair out. And I'm like, what? It's very confusing to me. I'm like, it, is that allowed? I don't know. But Okay, well, I will say for auditions, I would not recommend that. I think that's really dumb mm -hmm. because – if you're going in and you're saying like, this is what my hair does, or it's like, it's like wearing fake eyelashes. I think that's so stupid for auditions. I mean, if you do it great, like again, no judgment, do you? But for me personally, I just think that <laughs> I look like, listen, it's people can do judgy. what they want. It's judgy. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I was, it's stupid. It's, it's such a judgy comment. Um, <laughs> I just, I personally think that like, if you're not going in as your authentic self into an audition and you're taking things off, like uh, where does it end? Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I actually, my agent told me <laughs> oh. a couple years ago. She was like, "You need to cut your hair. They look like extensions." And I was like, "You're right. Like it did. It looked like I put fake hair in. And whether or not it was or wasn't, like if I go in and, and casting's like, "Hey, that's an extension. It's gonna look stupid on me, right?" So, well, um, so I cut it. Know where you buy your hair? Oh, everywhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it real hair is it fake like what some some is human hair um if you want to is that price uh, hair, right like trying to it's like, yeah Ooh, it's so budget, expensive it, um what's like, like a good hair thing to have that won't break on a think? on a budget like you can <sighs> i'm putting you on you can buy stuff from like malabar or you can even buy stuff Sorry, there's a squirrel jumping on the branch out there, and it just really distracted I me. I looked um, up, like, where? I'm like, no, right. <laughs> Sorry. Not no, not on you. On me. Um, no, so, like, even if you buy stuff off of Etsy or off of off of Instagram, right. um, it's, like, fairly good. But, like, on a budget, I'm saying, like, if you don't spend at least 100 bucks on a good wig, like, on a wig, you're not going to get anything. Like, if you spend – okay, so I spent – 16 bucks on this one hair attachment I, the most i'll use it for maybe is like to braid it into my hair but i'm never just gonna wear it mm. you know this is um cool. yeah it's like a whole world <laughs> Live and learn. what else am i adding to my little costume box i guess hair uh i had terrible wigs because i refused to spend money on them but yeah now i should yeah and then and then here's the thing too is like i have this huge thing about wigs is that it has to be taken care of. Like, you have to take care of your wigs if you're going to spend money on them. Um, but, yeah, like, I even have uh, bang attachments, which I'm sure some of my followers have seen. And, like, if you don't take care of it, which I hadn't at the time, it looks bad. It just looks bad. It just, it, like, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. How do you attach it? Like, here? Yeah, you, like, clip it. So you can, like, clip your bang, like, your bang bag, and then you just, like, clip it into your bang. Yeah. Oh, my mom joined. Hi, Ma. <laughs> this so is so exciting she's the reason i have so many wigs oh my god she's she's the reason yeah can we just talk about your mom now make it weird it won't be weird i talk about my mom all the time okay. my mom is incredible she's uh she's half the reason i am how i am obviously <laughs> i was gonna say that if that, that was like news oh that's funny. that's genetics that is it's <laughs> It I is feel, genetic. Honestly, as soon as she came, and you told me that's your mom, I'm like, I got nervous. I'm like, oh god, a parent's in my chat. I don't know why. Like, no, weird she feeling of like, oh god. Came with Robin. She's my parent. She's oh, already experienced. Mind. She's experienced the weird of the weird. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's funny because I, like, my parents will watch my videos and they'll be like, oh yeah, that's really good, or like, oh like, okay, you know. Um, <laughs> but they still. Like, I don't, if I was my mom or my dad, I'd be like, who, how, didn't we raise you okay? You're dressing up like Jesus. Like, uh, chill. <laughs> you know? Um, go, no, but God bless them. There. As a child, um, I kind of stopped seeing my videos, all of them, because it's just like, I don't get it. And I'm like, that's fair. I didn't really get it either. I put it out there. Some people did. Uh. Are, they, are your parents, like are they very a part of the acting world or are they kind of like outside of it? I think like we're, we're a creative family. So like, okay. we're always like doing big presentations, like even growing up, like it would be a simple school project. And like, I'm making this poem, making a song and dance out of it. And these kids come up like a little <laughs> paper. I'm like giant Bristol board. So okay. like, 
that's just who we are as people. Like, there's always a poem for every occasion. It's just like, or we're, like we would do like family lip sync kind of stuff. So we're yeah. Oh, that's good. We okay. We. So they're not like I don't get the acting thing. They're more like I don't get the content that you just put out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Which is some of it is I'm like I don't know. I thought it was funny, but yeah, maybe not much. Uh, no, your content is funny. The oh, um. Thanks. The uh, the one that really stood out to me was um, oh my god that product that you put out like early on in the pandemic it was like oh er <sighs> you were like advertising a product and uh, I was like this is really what was it called my confidence booster pill one yeah you're <laughs> oh really <laughs> I was like this is, so funny. this is brilliant yeah it's so good oh thank you. I'm like, she can't be talking about the confidence booster pill one. I'm like, I don't know. I thought it was funny. It took like a giant bottle of magnesium wrapped con. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no. there we go. Let's market that. Oh. <laughs> but I think it's super relatable too. Like, I think that's what's so funny about it is that you, like, who wouldn't want that? And I would. I, I was worried that people would think they were real. Because as you know, when I watch <laughs> your stuff, I think they're real. And then at the end, you're like, by the way, it's all fake. I'm like. Wait, so you believed. I'll, I, I won't was, talk about. Because, okay, so it was like an, for a, an adult product. I don't want to keep anyone out of the loop with this. You reviewed an adult product. And uh -huh. you reviewed a couple other ones. And I'm like, who's making all these products? This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, it could. There was one you did. And it was like for females. When it's their time of the month, it can rate your pain on the Richter scale. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised. So much. I'm like, why are they doing that? Can you imagine? Like Richter scale is so large. It'd be like point zero zero zero. I'm surprised that you believed it only because there's like one where I'm like, oh, and the fork like runs around, and oh. you have to catch the fork to eat it. But do you not think that is done? Like, I actually could see, because people do all sorts of things to lose weight, and I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe the fork runs away. <laughs> okay, seriously, if my food ran away from me, I would be, like, so fit. Let's be, let's be real. You're right. You're right. If that was an option. Like, I'll just explain. Like, you were pitching. It was um, for, for losing weight. It was uh, this fork that runs away from you so you can't eat your food with it, essentially, um, or something. And then like the food tells you if you have enough portions on it or, or something, it's just- The plate does, yeah. The plate does, yeah, yeah, oh my God. It was- Which so honestly would be brilliant. Like they need to come out with a plate that tells you if you have too I much portions. That was a thing. And like, where did you have the products? And I'm like, I believe that. <laughs> I don't even know, that's the thing, because you had something. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that's a thing. I Photoshop. Yeah, I did. I did Photoshop. You're right. It's, I will give you the benefit of the doubt that, yeah, in fact, like, if you're watching it being like, oh, yeah, well, it's Alexandra, and she's like, not gonna lie to me. Yeah. And then there's an image. Yeah, oh, I get that. That's I the problem. That. Because I'm like, no, she's her authentic self. That is what happened. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, she's authentically finding these things and telling us the truth. I'm like, oh, it's not the truth. <laughs> Let me let me put out a disclaimer. Like anything you watch of mine is probably not the truth. It's probably making fun of oh something. Uh, <laughs> do not, I will not be the reason that there is fake news out there, okay? <laughs> Thank you. And now we know, and now it's power. Uh, yeah, exactly. How do you come up with these ideas? Like, I'm so curious, you're like, okay, I'm going to write a, like, review a product and then make fake ones or, even the other, oh yeah. God, the, the cow onesie. I can't not talk about that. I don't even okay, know yeah, let's I talk about that. I'm like, she's wearing a cow onesie. There is so much cleverness and humor in it. I loved it. Um, that one, actually, I have to say, that, that, that was the one where I had, like, the cow onesie and all the bras, right? Yeah, so. Oh, it was great. I didn't have an udder, so I just used the bras. But uh, that was in. That was inspired entirely from the Arrogant Worms, which I feel like nobody really knows about. They're this Canadian parody spoof band, and they have all these parody songs. And I thought it'd be really funny to just, like, take one of their songs. And I don't even know. And then just 
act it out. Like, so that's where that came from. So that, that inspiration is mainly on the arrogant worm. So I, like, I can't take credit for that. Um, the other stuff, I, my brain works in weird ways. Like I don't really know where it comes from. A lot of the time I'll be laying in bed and I'll be like falling asleep just right before I fall asleep. I'm like, that's such a good idea. And then, yeah. And you have to, you ha- girl, you have to write those down because those are the best ideas. And like, sometimes they're shit. Okay. Let's be real. Oh, sorry. I swear again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> authentically <laughs> coming out of my mouth. Um, yeah. Sometimes they're bad, but I find there's always a way to tweak them to make them better. And I, I, I've really started trusting that little like pre-sleep worm that's in my brain. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of the times too, especially with my characters, I just improvise and I do like an hour of content and then I cut it up. Oh, interesting. Do you yeah. edit stuff too then? Sorry? Do you like edit your own stuff too? You're doing... Yeah. Like, I've been... Oh, I've been ending my stuff since I was like 12. Um, I way before YouTube existed, I was making stupid videos with my brother um, and my friends and hilariously, he became a videographer. So I take full credit for that. Um, you should. Yeah, I should. And if he's watching, uh, just telling you. Okay. Um, and okay. yeah, so I started editing on like, remember movie maker? Yeah. That. So I started editing on that, and then I eventually upgraded very slowly to Adobe. Um, oh, you're Adobe. Okay. I'm Adobe. I hate Apple products. Um, no judgment to people who love them. I just, I just hate them. <laughs> I mean, I, I hated them for the longest time, so I totally get it. And then finally, like some parts of it are good. And I finally learned and ended up getting the programs you're supposed to get instead of using their defaults. So I guess if you spend the money on Apple, it's not the worst, but I hated spending the money. I was kind of annoyed by that. Yeah. And I will say like Adobe, like I, they do. I will say though that they do make you pay monthly. And if you add it up, like you're paying so much more over the long run to use their products. Yeah. Um, but I just have this thing about Apple, like, they're just, they're, they're just, they're so like, (laughs) we're having a chat about technology right now. That's so funny. Okay. Um, I I just, it's great. Well, I just think that Apple, like if you, if you break it down, they are like user experience within their thing, but they don't want other people to be able to use it. And I like the whole charger thing really ticks me off. I don't know. It is like a pet peeve of mine. Like, why when you buy one of their products, like if you're in their team mm-hmm. and you're an Apple person, why can't you buy another one of their products and be able to charge it with an old charger? Or with someone who has, the, like, that to me is... No, it, I, it, ah. every time they come up with a new product, oh, we're getting this, we're changing it to USB-C or whatever. I'm like, why? No, like, I just... Yeah. It's not compatible anymore. I don't understand. Oh, it's better. It's thinner. I don't want it thinner. I want to be able to use my computer from, like, 10 years ago with the new one. Like... Oh, yeah. And then computer. also, like, okay, so you can't charge your phone and use your headphones at the same time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm um, sorry. Well, what? I have to get their Bluetooth, so... Yeah. So you can lose it, so you can buy it again. Like, I just... Yeah. To me, I, that is... No. I'm not. I'm not about that user experience, so... I'm an Adobe You know girl. what? Honestly, we're not sponsored by Apple, so it's okay. <laughs> well, when you do get sponsored by Apple, I'll be... Just um, erase, um, erase this, this video. Discussion didn't happen. It's fine. Uh, but it is, yeah, or I'll just get thing. them to pay me and I'll plug them. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't sell out like that. I don't think you would, but even no. if I thought you were, it would be a fake sellout, and I would enjoy watching that. I would say I'll do it, but I have to be one of my characters. <laughs> Fine. What's your favorite wig? Like, I like the long red one personally. That's like in the. I'm a, I'm a sucker for red. Like, I love red hair. If I could be a redhead, we're talking like fire red, like Rihanna 2010 red. I'd be there. Lights right now. Ugh, love it. Can't get enough. Um, fun fact: Try to dye my hair red, semi permanently at Christmas. I'm a brunette. Guess what? That doesn't work. Um. 
So yeah, love red. But my favorite, favorite, favorite one is my rainbow colored one. Have I? I feel like I must have seen that one. I don't know. It's both. Like I don't have that many photos with it. I should definitely get one in front of this background because yes. I feel like we're just all rainbow. Um, just like in my yeah. Collage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, but. Um, like my character, it's funny because my characters, and my wigs, I like, don't really coincide. Like they kind of do, but they don't. Um, but it's so important. Like I remember when you did an isolation short film, and I saw, uh, and you had that like little nineteen twenties like, kind of hair, oh, the bob. Thank you. And I'm like, oh yeah. my god, like your face looks so different, and your persona is so different with a wig. I'm like, what? Listen, hair and teeth, they change your face like so much, and. Um, I actually had a bob when I was 17. Um, oh. I played Velma Kelly in a... Sh the I saw a throwback to Cellblock, and I was going to ask you which one you were. Oh, my God. I was Velma, I one of the coolest roles of my life, I think, as of so far. It's the best. Um, okay. Not to go back to, like, high school. Yeah, not to be like, oh, high school was it. But um, I, peaked I, uh. I peaked in high school, guys. Can you tell? No, I definitely didn't. I was... <laughs> Definitely didn't peak in high school. I haven't, you know, haven't even peaked school. yet. Pardon? We, we don't talk about high school. We move on. Nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> um, but I actually cut my hair for like a three-day show. Like it was three days. We did the show for three days. I cut my hair into a bob for three days. Whoa. Yeah. Full method. Uh. It's so like, you know what though? It was good. It taught me that hair grows back because I was very attached to my hair. Um, I guess kind of resented it actually for like a couple years. It's like, it's not growing back. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was Velma and the Bob, it just, it's funny putting that wig back on. I'm like, oh my God, I look like I'm 17 again. So. I mean, you did <laughs> look young. So yeah, I would believe 17. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that next week is my birthday? I'm turning 30. Um, I did notice there was a countdown to 30. How are you feeling? <laughs> I, I took 29 very hard. Uh. So I get it. Did you? Yeah, I struggled. And then when I was 30, which was la last year, I'm 31. I don't talk about it. Yeah. Uh, I know. But when I turned 30, I'm like, oh, I feel the exact same. But there's something about, like, the age of, like, oh, God, it's a new decade. Um, am I a grown-up now? Like, what is changing? It's weird. Yeah, like, I am so excited. I can't wait for next week. I am so excited to leave my 20s behind me. Um, I I feel like 30s and 40s, man, that's like, I'm going to peak at 50, man. Like, I'm, I'm up, going up. Um, but it's weird because there is that feeling that you have to be an adult, and I refuse to be an adult. Like, I actively am like, no, it's not happening. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah. I, but what I love is, and people make me feel so good about this, and I'm sure they're lying to me, but um, they'll be like, oh my God, you're like 22. I'm like, honey, no. <laughs> that's the thing. When people are like, you look like you're 24, I'm like, to who? Like, what, what filter are you seeing me through? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I I'm definitely in my 30s. Um, but okay, I'll take it. Uh. But I will say that I think now with like the makeup trends being what they are and everyone kind of aging themselves. Like, I yeah. feel like there are, there are like 18 year olds who look like they're 30 That's because of true. the way that they do their makeup. Yeah. So I just don't have to do that much with my makeup. You're right. <laughs> I, that's exactly it. I never really understood yeah. makeup. And even now as I put it on, I'm like, it's, it's right. I don't think so. But I'm just kind of like, mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, but I, that's I, the thing. If they put on more, then everyone's going to be like, uh, thank you. That was clear. Yeah. You're full of knowledge. That makes so much Sometimes. Sense. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's, I don't know. I've never been one to like understand how to be a human. So this is helpful. Okay. I feel that. I feel that being human is a weird, weird thing. It's, um, well, even so, especially like, when now, you turn, when you turn 30 next week, apparently I've learned this, there is a face care regimen you should be doing with like face oils and stuff. I don't really know yet. I still haven't. <laughs> Let me tell you, I learned about this recently um, from my therapist, actually, which is oh. hilarious. But anyway, um, 
I'm going to say like six months ago, we were talking. She's like, so what's your healthcare routine? Like, what's that? <laughs> what do you, well, I don't understand. Um, and she explained to me that uh, most creams are lying to you, like that they're actually really harsh for your skin. They'll actually make your skin worse. And all you really need is like two products maybe three mm -hmm. um you wash your face you put like a serum and then you put a moisturizer and then you go to bed and that's it um my mother always told me you moisturize your neck mm -hmm. because that's where the the wrinkles go um but i already have a scar on my neck so i'm like i've been doing that since i was 14 um so, you've been, so you've been, you're ready uh, my neck is the rest of my face is like what the yeah fuck? but the neck, <laughs> more than that, that's what happens that's what i've been told mm -hmm. really okay yeah um, yeah, someone once told me that, like, I can tell how old a woman is based on her neck. And I'm like, I have never heard that. And now I look What are we, giraffes? That's so weird. Like, I look at people's <laughs> necks now. I don't know why that comment stayed with me. I'm like, can you? They're like, how old am I? Here, hold, sorry. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> how old am I? Well, I, I, if you're looking at my neck, it's so funny. When people look at my neck, they think I have an Adam's apple, which is hilarious. Because I don't. I don't um, but I'm a very like protruding thorax, so not only am I almost thirty, Robin, but I might be a man. You could be, but you play we, we, a woman quite well. Thank you, thank you. That means that you also play some really funny man characters. <laughs> it's all part of the illusion, you know. You know what? But that's that's what this is, right? Like 2021, you're very progressive, and I respect that. Thank you. I can be whatever I want to be. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say care word, but I'm like, no, Robin. <laughs> really like that's the one thing i'm holding back on i don't know why uh just seems well like i mean it's a it's a pretty public forum i think these things are weird because you and i are having a fairly intimate conversation and there are people watching i know it's, not, it's so interesting and that's why i'm like i don't like to think about it and i'm not like ignoring some comments but then i forget that people are watching this so it's like a weird meta i think yeah i know it is everything's weird. meta that's just my word it's a, <laughs> nothing is really meta <laughs> It's all meta, and we're doing beta testing, and <laughs> throw words out. Actually, I heard, okay, you want to, like, get, get into the next Greek letter? It's gamma, which would be, like, gamma rays, and then, like, delta. It's all very, um, it's very up my alley. It's very Greek. Greek letters. There you go. There you go. Brought in some Greek. There you go. Hebrew. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, do you speak? Do you speak uh, Hebrew? Can I a little bit like... And then my accent turns French, and it's really weird because I don't really speak French. So clearly, I don't either. So we're yeah, in the so, same boat. So when you said your French thing, I'm like, that makes me laugh because my accent is everywhere. And when my husband and I went to Israel last year, and I'm like whipping out my fake accent, and they're like, mm, "You're not here. We're gonna speak English to you." I'm like, <laughs> I hate that. I hate when you go to another country. If like we ever get to go to another country ever again, oh. um, but. I hate when you go to another country or you go to another place where they speak a language and you're trying to speak the language because you're like, well, it will help me to speak the language. And they speak to you in English. Uh. But the thing is, it's like, I don't know about you, but I know the words and I like, I completely understand what people are saying. And I love when they don't know that I know. And then they're just mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm like, fascinating. Please keep talking. And I'm like, I didn't, um, don't know if you're aware of this, but <laughs> it was just part of that. That was fun. And, I, uh, <laughs> Learned yeah, about you. Uh, mm. When I when I was in Greece, like a lot of the time, my brother and I all just speak in English when we're in Greece. Um, and one of the greatest things is like you'll hear Greeks talking about like the foreigners, but we understand what they're saying. Oh, love that! Then you just turn around and say something Greek to them, exactly. and you walk off. You're like, <laughs> <How are they? laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, that's like the best part in any movie. That whole like I knew the whole time. Yeah, you know it reminds me of a story that. Uh, a teacher, a high school teacher told me they were on the bus somewhere speaking Hebrew. Oh. And they were talking about this woman. They were saying mean things about her, like that she was a cow and stuff. This was like way back when, yeah. when that was allowed. Um, it was never allowed. But anyway, uh, and Gosh. they were saying, <laughs> when, when insulting people was a good thing, you know. Uh, yeah, no. what a beautiful cow woman. <laughs> Um, they were saying she was a cow and all this stuff, and then uh, she got she got to her stop. She rang her thing, and she turned to them and mooed. 
And I just thought that was such an interesting story because it's like she spoke Hebrew and they, she understood what they were saying. Oh. That'll teach you a lesson real fast, eh? Oh my God. What a... I don't even... To moo is just... It's such a good choice. Such a you badass move. Like, like, what a woman. And, oh, what a good... Is that a real story? It is, yeah. Okay, it's I'm a real story. story. I love that one so much. I've heard of, like, yeah. elevator stories, but that one with the moo, oh. oh that's good. That goes yeah. out in the book. That, that's writing it down. That's, like, nighttime. Uh, I think no. it's like that one. Uh, there's something yeah. like that. Just get me in a onesie. We'll do it. No. <laughs> um, yes, I actually had a cow hat I was going to whip out. I'm like, what? I will pop Why didn't you? Stuff. Yeah, they were, I had to move some stuff around, but I will, oh, okay. we'll share. We'll do another one. Uh, okay. <laughs> dress up. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I should have worn it. That's what I should have worn for this. I was like, oh, what do I wear? Oh my God. Yeah, I would, uh, the window's open. It's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's good volume for the window open. Although you have the headphones, but still. I have the headphones and also I'm in like a, the, the like the window is, is, is in a tunnel of sorts, just the way my backyard is. Oh, cool. So it's not like right up against the window. Yeah. So it's not like this is, if this was really sunny, this would be terrible lighting kind of thing? No, yeah, it's not like that. It's like, it's constantly shaded because there's a balcony above me. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. And so what's your address? Uh <laughs> yeah, well, I've been pretty quiet on keeping that under wraps. Uh <laughs> <laughs> let's just, let's just chat. Uh, what's your social insurance number? Uh <laughs> yeah, no, let, let me give you it to you because I feel like everyone online needs it. So, um, three, five, four, no. Uh <laughs> Again, I would believe it. Uh, <laughs> okay, actually you know it's funny know where she lives uh. <laughs> you know it's funny because I've, I've heard of people having their addresses like given to the public and stuff like that um and so a lot of my friends don't even have my address <laughs> no I have no idea where you live like you could honestly be in the states right now and I wouldn't know I could be yeah for all you know I'm in your back alley I live in your back alley I do I would believe it um the graffiti is different so that, ah, that's not, not so much love in the back alley. Yeah, there's back not alley. that much love. And there's usually just mm. like, yeah, it's, it's downtown. We're going to, we're going to leave it at that. Uh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Toronto. Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I would be a very good looking back alley person. Let me just put it that way. Uh, if I lived in the back alley. Uh, yeah. But you throw on a wig and you're a different person. Like you could be back alley guy. Or yeah. Girl. You know what I have? I have, I have, or got, well, yeah, either or, uh, I have thought about if it were to come down to it, if I needed a new identity, I'd do very well. I love that you thought about that. I am literally <laughs> watching these spy movies all on Netflix and I'm like, I could never be a spy. I'm like, wait, what's my name again? Which one am I today? Um, uh, uh, I don't know. And also, I don't know if you wear glasses. Okay. But as a spy. Do. Do they wear contacts? Like, what happens? Because if their character doesn't wear glasses, I actually thought about this for a very long time. If their character doesn't wear glasses and, like, that's not their cover, how do they see? Like, what if they get taken and, you know, they get tortured? And, like, what's going on with their contacts? No one talks about it. I care when you're getting tortured should be discussed. Dude, I you just know. hit a loophole in the spy agency world. What happens? They probably just get Lasix, honestly, <clears throat> but. Because, huh. um, like, no one looks. They could have stuff in their eyes. No one goes, like, okay, empty your eye. You could have, yeah. like, a gun in here. Like, I'm getting out of here. You're right. Next time I want to bring drugs across the border, I should put them in my eye. Oh, God, don't do that. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> think of anything else i can't hide a, hide a gun in my eye like what the hell would i put in my eye i can see people do because doesn't so i don't know if you know that trick where you can squirt milk out of your eye if you have mm. it so i guess they could hide it in their nose and like eject it through their okay this is getting gross okay let me just say I, the nose your sinus cavity is immense okay i didn't know how immense like if you stuck something up your nose you could it, it you could put a lot up your nose. The only problem would be um, that you'd probably lose it, or if it's drugs, you'd probably get really screwed up on it. 
because it would enter your blood. Right. But um, yeah, like we have a, we have a crazy cavity up here that no one talks about <laughs> and no one hides things in. I mean, I'm glad we brought this out because we should discuss it. This is the platform. Don't neglect the sinus. And this is how my brain works. I mean, so there, yeah, there you go. It Perfect is true. example. It is true. Hey, I'm going back to my anatomy knowledge, and I'm like, it is true. We ignore it, and yet it's such a an important instrument. Like the whole everything up here is like when I think about the cranial nerves, I'm like one little nerve is responsible for so much. It's nuts. So it is nuts. Yeah. Not only that, but. We always, there's this like saying like, oh, you eat like eight spiders a day, right? Or whatever, or, or not a day or a month or something, right? When you sleep, no, there's that stupid thing. Apparently, we oh, ingest yeah. eight spiders or something. Okay, but I'm sorry. We ingest eight spiders, but they're not like friggin' in our brain, like like crawling up our nose and hiding in our nasal cavity. I don't, I doesn't make oh, sense to me. Oh, because they probably just eat the legs so they can't reproduce in our brain. That's what's happening. <laughs> it's all edible crickets are all the rage why not spiders right so. oh did you get to that video on my channel no i have a whole video about eating crickets dude oh, okay. okay i can't i don't get it i okay so as a pretend vegan i understand trying to <laughs> You say you're vegan and you eat meat, or what's that? Depends what's on the the... Day. I, sometimes I want ice cream. It happens. I'm like, I can't convince you. Oh, okay. Ice cream is delicious. I get And also, like, get you can't that. kosher meat downtown. So, yeah, it's just easier to be vegan. Uh, okay. Whatever. But vegan. And, like, everyone's doing the vegan thing. It seems cool. Okay. I like to – I'm a big follower, apparently. It's great. My parents would be proud. But it's <laughs> whole, like, sustainable food, I think. But I'm like, why – like, where are the crickets in Toronto? Are we just gonna, where are they hiding? We're gonna, like, no. I, I will tell you, there there are some, my tea bag just touched my finger and I freaked out because I was thinking about bugs. Okay, oh. so, um, moving on. Yeah. There are so many, cr there are so many crickets in the field by my house. They're humongous. Like, I swear they're locusts. Like, they're just, they're, <laughs> um, but even that big of a bug has, like, point something protein in it. But what like, I understand, iron is key. I'd rather, I'm going to say this as a carnivore, and I'm sorry that you're a vegan. I, I'm going to preface this so no, all vegans can shut theirs. I'm not like kind of on a burger, so it's like, eh. Uh. Like, I would rather become sanguine. Like, I would rather drink blood Whoa. than eat crickets. And what I. If it, what if it's cricket blood? I, do they have blood? I feel like they're just goopy. Like, I don't even know. Gross, I don't know. But I just, the idea of, like, I don't even, I don't know why. Have you ever that... watched Fear Factor? You know that show where they used to make them eat bugs? Oh, uh, God, that just. No money. And I'm like, and also, why was I watching that? That's what I started questioning. I'm like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see this. Why is everyone watching this? Why does it have so many seasons? <laughs> I think it's because people like fear as long as it's not them. Like, they feel better about themselves. They're like, oh, I'd do it. And you're like, no. The cockroach one cannot, cannot handle that. It's still moving. Like, Robin, I have a fear of hair, okay, which is ironic. But if, it, if there's hair in the drain, I ain't touching that drain, okay? There's no way in hell I'm touching an insect that lives in drains. Like, there's, no. Never thought of that. Just live in drains. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen the mummy? <laughs> Literally, I don't, this is my nightmare. I don't know if you've seen the mummy where the bug crawls under the skin. And I oh, have, ew, what? Have, oh, I thought you were talking about like, okay, I've, I've seen the old one where they like, it comes so out Brendan, of the... So with Brendan Fraser, I think it might be the first one. And there are these bugs that look like cockroaches and they crawl under the skin. And I'm like, oh, gross. So I, I don't know where we were. And I'm like, where are they? Are they, is it happening? <laughs> we're not... There are the there are bugs that live on rocks in like Europe that uh, do that. Okay. My mom experienced it when she was a kid. Oh, gross! Yeah, the idea it like freaking like ticks do it. Okay. Like they this enter your like skin. Making me so uncomfortable right now, and I, 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 I want like to change the subject. I'm like, okay, Sorry. there's bugs everywhere. Um, 
Uh, okay. Not I saw a bug the other day. <laughs> I saw a bug. I saw a bug the other day, and my reaction to the bug was, "No, you're not allowed to be here." Like that's what I said to it, Get and it. it 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 turned around. No joke. Turned around and left, and I was like, "Thank you." <laughs> as long as I don't see you, I'm not gonna kill you. Oh, so if you have a nice relationship with them, I'm like, you are yeah. in face. Huh. Oh, you kill it. I can't. I, the, the crunch can't do it. I can't do it. I lived with centipedes for a long time, and I. Oh, that's a lot. I couldn't. Oh. Ugh. I meant like this. I just drowned them. Yeah. Oh, gross. Ugh. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> we thought we were moving on. We're still talking about them. Ugh. Okay, move on. Okay, move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I was gonna say so bugs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, like, okay, if I got a bug, I would play it. Like, just... oh, me too. Oh, hundred yeah, percent. Oh, it. is there any? If it's for acting, do? is there any role you wouldn't do? Mm. No, but I have certain ex like. I would never do like a full nudity, frontal nudity scene. Even, wait, um, can it paid you a bunch of money? Like with that Margot Robbie, she got a bunch. Oh. I'd say like get a, you know, if you're going to pay me extra money to do this frontal nudity scene, just get a body double. Like just pay a body double. I find that so um, interesting. Because you're like yeah. so proud of like, you're always like women empowerment. But I guess what's the point? That's a little too far. Well, no, I, 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 I don't actually have a problem with people being nude on screen. Um, like, I think it's great. And I, but I personally do, would not feel empowered to be completely naked on screen. Um, and I don't see, listen, if they were like, they could make a really good argument as to why this was an essential need for her to be naked on screen, then I'd be like, yeah, totally. Like, sure, fine. If it was, if it was like essential to the plot of this movie, really then is. maybe, then maybe. But I agree. I don't think male or female. I don't think that that it's it's adds anything. Like, if anything, it's like showing the monster. Not that our bodies are monsters, but it's like showing the monster in a scary movie, all of a sudden the appeal, like the appeal has gone. And I think there's something really, especially because a lot of nudity is sexy in Western culture. Like we have not gone past the taboo that nudity is just nudity, you know, which I could literally talk for hours about. Um, but I just, I think because there's a sexual factor to it in Western culture, um, I think there's nothing more sexy than like not revealing it all. It's true though. It's like, you want to know what you can't see versus like, Oh, I'm yeah. not impressed, whatever. Yeah, so I, I really, I just wouldn't, I just would be like, um, if you're giving me this rule and you're paying me a crap ton of money, why not pay a woman who's very confident and feels very empowered to be naked on screen and just pay her the extra money? Mm -hmm. And um, we can pretend that that was me. You know, and I, I also, I need to, I need to also take into, for me, like, my, my body is to the person like it's for me and for the person that I'm with if I'm with someone and I I do believe there is a respect factor there that um whoever I'm dating or if I'm married to someone like I would want I would want there to be something that they have that other people don't see that's beautiful I like that you know so so yeah like and I mean we've got a weird career like we kiss other people and we you know so I, I think there's got to be something something left not after dealing with all my freaking baggage, you know, there's got to be something. <laughs> it's so funny, though. I don't know if you saw the sketch of, like, people doing nudity for HBO, and they're, like, explaining the scenes of, like, a Game of Thrones scene to their parents, and they're like, but it's for HBO. Oh, way to go! Way to go! Like, <laughs> way to be the person that gets nailed by a dwarf. Like, just, I, I don't know. <laughs> No, and like, listen, I, I do, I do believe that there is, there is something to like nudity on screen. I think that there, that there, um, if it, if it's, if we could get past the whole like uh, nakedness in, in Western culture, I think there's a lot of, a lot of, to add to it. And like, uh, you know, watching foreign films, you see the nudity and it's very like, 
normal and you don't you're not like wow i really want to objectify this body right now you know but in western culture we we just do it and so but it's i was watching this again i watch anything on netflix and apparently there was a time when the bathrooms were open concept so can you imagine like being on the toilet like you're so vulnerable and like having a conversation with someone like next to you or across the way like this was a thing wait when this was like back in the day I'll, it, i i just like that kind of openness of like even <laughs> like that time when you're like i need to close the door give me some privacy and then people are just like so chill like that i'm like yeah of course you can do nudity on screen you're like next to each other on the toilet like having a beer i don't know what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> that's multitasking hey hey dad like what are you <laughs> well actually when i went to camp when i was a teenager um, they had like outdoor like outhouses, but the outhouses were like four outhouses in a row. So like, you would just go to the bathroom with like three other girls, and you'd be side by side, just like taking a pee or whatever else you're doing, uh, changing your tampon. Like, and and like, <laughs> it was so, it was so normal and. I don't know why, because, like, I think I remember the first day being like, I'm sorry, what? I have to pee beside three other people? Like, you, you don't have to invite three other people if you don't want to. But it was just faster to go to the oh, bathroom. with like opposed to interesting. Okay. You're like, hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it was scary, because you're in the middle of the forest. You're like, please come pee with me. Well, like, you know. Thing, right? It's like safety versus uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, also, like guys pee, like guys pee with each other all the time. Yeah, but, but it's like I always wonder, like, wouldn't you be uncomfortable doing that? And I feel like are men just more comfortable doing that? I don't know. I I find that interesting. I think men are very, very. I mean, not to say all men here, but I think I think a lot of the times, like what they're whipping out, they're a lot more proud of than what we're doing. You well, know, ours is, ours is hidden. So. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we can't whip anything it's, else. It's, let's be real. <laughs> uh, it's all contained, uh, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah. No, but you're right. Like, how how odd is that? Especially nowadays when it's like everything's like shut down, closed up. But I feel like it would be so interesting if even from the beginning, when you're getting like we're just brought up to like certain things are normalized more than everything's private. Yeah. I but again, you can't like one person. I'm going to change the culture. Like, I don't know. No, it does have to be something that I think you raise people up in. Ah, oh, Daniel. Hey, hey. I feel bad. Um, I'm always as excited to say hi to other people. Well, there's a lot of really good people in the, watching. Uh, I I can't. I don't know how to scroll through this. I don't want to shut it down by accident. No, I know. That's why I didn't want to like touch the screen. And now, oh, <laughs> now you ruined our whole talk. We're just going to talk about Daniel now. Whatever. <laughs> um, he's you're not late to the chat, Daniel. We've just been we've just been oh, yeah, shooting we're, the like, breeze. We're stalking, seeing who's coming. People keep coming for. I'm just like so impressed. You oh. no, you're like oh wait oh I did want to know. I mean I figured yeah. the gist of it when you said Alexander the Great, and I figured it's because you're Greek, but I didn't know if that was wrong. Um yeah, so long story short, um. The humbug. Yeah, please drive safe. Please yeah, don't. Yeah, I'm like, Daniel, please don't walk please don't. screen. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I don't want to be the reason you get hurt. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, I was originally, originally when I made the YouTube channel and, like, my whole idea in 2016 was to, like, make money off YouTube, which I fizzled out very quickly because it, like, lost the fun. Um, the whole idea was, like, I didn't want to be known as me. Like, I wanted to keep it separate, which is ridiculous. Like, how on earth? Interesting. Um, and then... So when I took a break, because I needed to, like, recalibrate my life, but also just, like, what am I doing on YouTube? Like, is this is this money for money? Is this for a career? Or is this for, like, just for fun? And I realized it was just for fun. Um, I wanted it to be me. Like, I wanted people to know it, it's me. Um, and so I was like, well, Alexander the Great, Alexandra the Great, that's easy, done. And additionally, I really wanted to hone in on the fact that, like, thinking that you're great or knowing that you're great isn't something to be scared of. Cause I think a lot of the time we are like, Oh, I'm, I'm humble. And it's like, you know what? Like, why can't I 
like, can I own the fact that, like, I can be good? Like, I'm, you know? So it, it has a bit of that and has a, just a bit of, like, owning your owning yourself or owning myself. So that's why. No, okay, then why Lost with the Sea? <laughs> lost with the Sea? Um, so remember when Instagram started and uh, I was it was a party, so I don't know. <laughs> so it started and it was like, you can't post pictures of yourself and it's like super artsy fartsy. And I had put my name, which was like, so not a thing you did. And I was like, shoot, like I need a name that's representative of me. And I was sitting on the beach and I was heartbroken because this guy that I was dating, dating, um, <laughs> um, I told him I loved him and he didn't love me back oh. and like, come on. Who? No, I, just, I know. And, uh, Alexander the Great. What the? Um, I think I was pretty clingy and I was pretty, pretty desperate. Anyway, he was a firefighter and had nothing to do with me. So, um, I was sad and I was in Greece and I was staring at the water and I was like, Oh, it's so like mesmerizing. So lovely. And uh, I got lost in it. And then I was like, oh, my God. Yes. I found my Instagram name. And uh, that was that. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's such that a good was... story. Then, uh, like, oh, uh, my name is Robin. So that's my name on Instagram. <laughs> well, if you had joined in 2011, Robin, okay. that would not have been allowed. Not so. Um, my story yeah. with joining Instagram is someone told me to get Instagram. I was <gasps> shoot, literally um just very bored and then i kept posting pictures i had like i posted seven pictures at once as soon as i joined <laughs> no know that everyone who started following me would get them right away i did like can you please stop posting pictures i'm like why are you getting them right away i just want to like build up my i didn't understand it so um yeah that's so funny i just watched the social dilemma or no social animals i watched both okay. um social that. animals and it, it's okay it's it's a, a fun doc documentary you kind of see what instagram is for the younger generation and how important it is and it, it's actually kind of sad but anyway um she was like one of the girls is talking about instagram and the various rules of instagram and she's like you do not post more than one photo a day and so you saying you posted seven just made me laugh that's so well, funny no, it's also funny too is i just had a talk with someone on wednesday they're like you got to keep posting we have to do all the stories um get your name out there i'm like there's so many different thoughts i don't know what to do ah. and then i'll just like go silent for two weeks i'm like i'm done <laughs> now I'm, gonna, I'm done and then like come back with a vengeance and then i'm done <laughs> I think, I think, honestly, I think the rule is you should do what makes you happy when it comes to posting. I haven't posted anything. I, I post stories all the time because it's so easy, but, um, and, and I kind of figure out, like, people will watch my stories at this point, um, and my brother will be like, can you stop? You have little dots when you post stories. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm like, okay, well, no. You don't watch them then. Um, That's on but, you. You're not supportive. Yeah. Just, just don't watch them. Um, but I think, like, I haven't posted anything since end of December or whatever, and I still keep getting followers, so I feel like there's no, there's no science to it, really. Oh, no. Okay. Um, if you want to do it wrong, then do what I do. Like, legitimately, <laughs> every time I post, I lose a follower. It's a skill. I don't know how. It is a skill. Like, after okay, but... <laughs> on my resume, Instagram loser, <laughs> just... Follow do you want to lose followers fast? Do what I do. <laughs> Take my workshop for $600. Uh. <laughs> and don't follow me. Just unfollow me after watching this. Um, well, okay, but hold on a second because <laughs> there is this weird thing that people do, and I'm not about it, is they will follow you so you follow them. Oh, like they do like a blast. And I have also decided that – and so that's what I'm saying. When you lose a follower, it's likely it's someone who did that. I don't believe – that it's someone who's like, I know you as a human. There's a courtesy that you follow people that you know or that you've met. And I will, I will go out of my way. Like, if I see someone in class, I'll go and follow them. Because I've just seen their work, and I feel yeah. like I know them a little bit better. Exactly. And we're a, we're a community. Now, if you're someone I've never met and you follow me, and that's great. But I have no compulsion to follow you back, you know? And so... Sometimes and, they and reach so, out to me, like, this is why I'm following you. I'll be like, oh, cool. Yeah, okay, let's connect. 
But yeah, otherwise, exactly. I'm like, I don't know you, and I try to not post like personal pictures for the most part because I don't want people to really know me. Uh, I feel that. I feel that though. Like, just let people know what you want them to know, and that's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's interesting though. But that's why but, with you, I'm like, I think you share so much that I'm like, I've learned so much about you. I'm like, I didn't know all this stuff that you've gone through in life in general. I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> phenomenal it's so like, you just keep pushing and doing and like yeah I sur- like all this stuff happened to me but like I'm still here I'm like whoa this girl I, I don't know. oh thank you I mean I, I feel actually funny that you say that because I feel like I don't I share only what I feel that I want to share um and I think a lot of people like really close to me would tell you that I actually don't share at all like I don't I don't I'm pretty private as a person and I I like like you'd be like, come like open up, like talk to me, like nah, like <laughs> I'm good. Gonna deal with um, it, and then like, hey, <laughs> yeah. So like, I think things that are public knowledge, I, I I will share, and and I, and I mean the fact that you were like, oh, I learned so much about you is so interesting because it's like if we'd been talking in person, like how long would you not have known that stuff about me? Probably because I'm not sharing well, a I'm lot, right? You, like bring up, like, hey, uh, tell me your medical history. Like that's just a weird, yeah, question, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and, like, so, yeah, so people would know my, like, a lot of people close to me would know my medical history, because it's, um, but when I've overcome something that I, that I feel like other people might be struggling with, it's worth sharing. Yeah. And I think that's kind of where, where it goes, like, I don't know many people who had a thyroidectomy at 14, okay, but I do know that I've struggled with it my whole life, and I do know that lots of people find out that they have thyroid issues like like in their 30s yes. or when they get pregnant which is around that now and so it's worth sharing because it's like oh I want to know what you, you know that someone else has gone through it and they're okay mm-hmm. and that they're doing well so I think it's that's the stuff that's worth sharing and then everything else like when I have a mental breakdown I'm not going to post about it <laughs> yeah I'm just going to deal with that in a private space and um... yeah yeah, so like you know, I'm not gonna say okay. I say t- I tell people and I tell Instagram like I do therapy because I think there's a lot of taboo about that, and I think that people should do therapy. I'm not gonna go in about what I'm doing therapy about, you know. So yes, I'd like some detailed notes and. Uh... Okay, <laughs> I will. Uh, I'll come upstairs and I'll. <laughs> no, but the thing, to even you. like all this stuff like today is like Bell Let's Talk Day, right? And then Monday was like the most depressing day of the year, and I just find it so interesting, like all these, like, some artists are very, like, pro, let's talk about all this stuff and, like, mental health. And I find there's always stigmas around certain things. So I agree, the more, like, you talk about things, the more normalized in a sense. Like, you were talking about the weird, it was a weird example, but, like, normalizing more things in society. Like, not necessarily nudity. Uh, let's, like, keep the clothes off. But Just we're all nudists. We're going to all be nudists, and Robin. Thing, you know, well, Robin told me to walk around naked, and I'd be like, no, that's not what I was saying. Um, Please keep your clothes on. That's illegal. You're downtown outside. <laughs> it's probably pretty cold if you do that now, no, too. So maybe don't. Like, you know, drink it. Um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get more followers, Robin. Oh, there you go. There you go. I actually literally uh, did stop caring because I'm like, it was just not good for me. I'm like, oh my God, nobody like. I'm like, no, Robin, you like yourself. So post because you think you're funny. And I'm like, yes walk away and then just turn yes. the phone off i don't want to know who liked it uh, it's very- actually it's it's very very redeeming to or like empowering to put your phone down after you've posted something and come back and you have oh i know I'm like, like oh, response so, that, i really didn't think that would get any traction cool yeah. right the one thing like I'm, I put- I'm so proud of i'm like nobody liked that i worked hard on that that was funny it's very funny Wait. Which one? Oh, I don't. Uh, honestly, there's too many that I don't want to go to. <laughs> I'm like, I swear this was a hilarious call. Oh, it, one of them was like the eat your face off mask. And I'm like, this is hilarious. It should get more traction. Uh, I don't think I saw that one. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. It's it's out there in the interworld. Uh, oh, I'm going to go find it. I'm going to go find it. I'm going to blast you some love. I'm my niece for everything that I need a cute kid for. It's very helpful. Uh, hey, kids and animals. That's... That's the key. I don't have any animals, but yes. <laughs> um, well, we did. Oh. He, uh, he, we, he went missing in September. We had a cat. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He went missing in, yeah, he went missing in September, and he, he, uh, 
I think he's gone over the Rainbow Bridge. We probably probably met some coyotes and didn't didn't make it home. Um, but on a positive note, um, we are looking at getting a dog. So that's oh, in the whoa. works. You yeah, but it's person to dog person. Is that allowed? Oh, honey, I love all animals. <laughs> um, that, uh, um, pardon? Except bugs. We don't. We don't do bugs. Yeah, like uh, maybe a butterfly, maybe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. So like when so the cat was a Mayans originally, and then I became his stepmom, the Flynn Flynn stepmom, and then and then Flynn went missing. Um, but we had been talking about getting a dog while we had the cat. Like we we just wanted to like make our family a little bit bigger. Um, but it has been a nightmare with COVID. Just like rescues are bringing dogs over from the states and then huh. breeders are asking for an arm and a leg because because of covid because everyone's like oh i can get a dog now right so they've bumped up their prices so it's it's really been a search and a mad hunt for a dog but um eventually i'm getting a little fluffy thing to love me man that's just <laughs> one of my goals wait do you have a name picked out or does like when you see the animal then you're like this is their name that's kind of that's kind of been my thinking. Um, we do have a list of names. I sound like I'm having a baby. No, but um, I, I have to. Okay, actually, I wonder about any name because, like, when it comes to the kid, I don't know if you would see the kid and be like, "This is the names that we discussed," but now I'm changing the name because you look different. It's like a little thing that's covered in whatever. You're right. Like a bloody baby. How do yeah. you know, right? But I think. I don't know. I think you just know. I've never had a child, um, so I don't know. I know of. I, the, well, I feel like I would know. I'm actually the only woman who goes around impregnating men, but let's not tell anyone that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I, like, like with my... Because we had family dogs growing up, and... Oh, cool. uh, the names did just come, but actually it's funny because my brother was supposed to be named something else. And then when they saw him, they were like, actually, we're going to go with this. Uh, when they saw me, uh, they were like, oh, it's a girl. Okay, we're naming it Alexandra. Because um, they, they thought I was going to be a boy till the moment I was born. So definitely, I feel like when you see the baby, it changes uh, sometimes. Well, I always joke. I mean, my parents had Robins, but it's either or. Uh... Oh, yeah. We're... I know, um, it's supposed to be Rachel, I think, and I'm like, oh. oh. I'm actually glad you're not a Rachel. I don't feel like you'd be a Rachel. I, I'm not feeling it. No, I'm gonna. Say you're Robin. definitely a Robin. But am I a Robin? A Robin. With a y or a Robin with an I? That's what I talk about with my parents. I've grown to like the Y, mm. but I do wonder what my life would be like if I had the I. I have a lot of time on my hands. Well, I feel like you would have befriended some like very shady bat characters, you know? Yeah, you like that. Yeah. 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 Um, actually, so funny. Um, when, when I was a kid, my parents had these friends and um, they came over and my brother would have been like three or I would have been probably about five or six. And my brother loved dressing up like Batman. And this guy, the, the, the friend came over and he was like, she's like, hi, what's your, what's your name? And my brother was like, hi, I'm Batman. And her name was Robin, and she's like, I'm Robin. And it was just so perfect. So you have the, you have the ability to, like, make some little boys or girl who dress up as Batman's dream Whoa. come true. I'm excited. This, you know what? I will take – I do not take this responsibility lightly. <laughs> <laughs> I've handed you responsibility to make a child's dream come true, Robin. You've got to use it. I love it. <laughs> I actually don't know how long we've been talking for because I have no idea um, my phone. I have a watch on. We've been talking for an hour and 15 minutes. Whoa. I said, I've been telling everyone 15, 20 minutes. I feel really bad. Well, uh, I, I will take the blame for it. You can, you can blame me. I blame the bug rabbit hole personally, but. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's funny? I actually thought it was going to time out. So I guess when you're talking with someone else, it doesn't time out. Um, I don't know. Oh, when why? you do a live. 
when you do a live like by yourself it times out after an hour but i guess it doesn't time out when you're talking to people no, no, no. okay here's here's how instagram works for me they're like oh robin she keeps trying on instagram nobody likes her so we're gonna waive the 60 minute rule and maybe people <laughs> okay so if you have tuned in or oh, really? are tuning in Apparently, go instagram will let us go for four hours now whoa oh well, so we've got another, no, I'm just that's kidding. <laughs> a lot. That's a lot. They came in September. Interesting. Thanks, Jen. Uh, oh, well, that's good to know. Full of knowledge there. Um, God, that's a long time. Uh, I mean, I like that's it, a... but I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, I, like, I don't want to hold you for four hours. <laughs> but I will say, people have heard her chatting. You should oh, go God, follow Robin. No, no, please oh, but me. that's what I'm going for. Uh-uh. Ah, ah, ah. That's what I'm going for. Go follow Robin. Go follow her stuff. It's really, she's really funny. She's a comedian and she's freaking awesome. And this is my shameless plug for her and all the people that she's interviewed so far. I love the people. No, it's just like, I'm so glad we got to talk and you're so funny and cool. And I just like wanted, I don't know. I just, I wanted, wanted to say hi and then like see what. <laughs> What, what ridiculousness we could chat about. So this is great. I, I thoroughly this enjoyed was... chatting with you. Thanks for your yeah, time. Yeah, thank you so much. And I'll send this to you. I'm not going to watch it because I refuse to watch any of mine back. Uh, oh, come on. Why? You're so great. Oh, no, no. This is uh, this is the inner critic in me. It's going to be like, Robin? Mm. So we're just going to walk away from this one and go forward. But I want to bring you back at some point. Uh, yeah. I'm chatting with you. And yeah. Oh, uh, Send pictures of your wigs to everyone. Uh, the rainbow <laughs> wig, there has to be a picture. That should be your picture. That's the biggest takeaway, I think, from today. Okay, I will uh, I'll make sure to post one after I... Uh, once you post this, I'll post it into my story, and then I'll post a rainbow picture after okay. for you. Yeah, there's a lot of homework for you, so... <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get right to it, teach. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, what day is it today? Friday. So, have a great weekend. And you too. Okay. All right. What Thanks so much. Goodbye in Greek. Yasu. Oh, okay. I'm going to say Yasu. How do you say goodbye in Hebrew? Uh, shalom. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Okay. Plus. Shalom. Yasu. <laughs> <laughs>